Hey guys, I bought this generator off Craigslist. It was $100 and even though it does work, it's, it needs to be cleaned up a little bit so I'm going to give it some routine maintenance and uh, basically going to take it apart, make sure everything's nice and clean, give it an oil change, a new spark plug and uh, fire it up and see how it goes. This is a Champion, let me see now. It's a Champion, it's 4,000 4, watt peak, 350 running watts. 3,500 running watts. Okay, the tools you're gonna need is a 13 16th wrench to get the uh, spark plug out. You also need a uh, seven millimeter wrench and a 10 millimeter wrench. Okay, the first thing you need to do is to remove the gas tank. So the first thing you do is turn off the gas, release this clip all the way out and pull out the supply line. So there's no gas coming out of here. There is gas in the tank, but the valve is off. Okay, take your 10 millimeter wrench and remove four bolts. One, two, three, and four. All your four bolts are removed. The next thing you have to do is remove these two bolts right here, one and two, using the same size wrench. And if you pull it out from the left, gently lift the tank, pull out the bracket, and it will slide out here like so. Next thing to do is gently slide out the gas tank. So I'm going to have to put the phone down <laughs> and use both hands. So as you can see here, I've taken out the gas tank and I just rested it on the top. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it to the side so I can access all the nice parts of the generator and the carburetor. So as you can see, it's a bit dirty in there. So I'm going to clean it up, I'm going to change the spark plug and I'm going to change the oil. First thing you want to do, remove the spark plug cover right here and see my spark plug's pretty bad. So I'm going to take that out using my 3 sixteenths, I mean my 13 sixteenths wrench to get the spark plug out. Okay, to remove the air filter, very easy. Remove this clip here. Remove this clip here. Pop the top off. There's the filter, a bit dirty. It's a sponge. Pull it out. There you go. So to remove the heat shield from the exhaust, you have five bolts. You have one here, one here, one here, one here, and one right there. So annual maintenance requires you to adjust the valves. And to get to the va valve, this is the valve cover. And to remove the valve cover, you've got four bolts. One, this one's removed already. Two, three, four. First thing you do, pull out the air hose out the back. Like so, just pops out. And remove the uh, spark plug wire out the way. Remove these four and expose the valve. Okay, so I've got a new spark plug. It's the NGK. 57 ES and it's rated for uh, about three hours or less a month. So uh, I'm going to put this one in. It's gapped to, to 0 0.028 of an inch spark plug gap. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the oil. So right here you see the oil dipstick and the filler and then this is the actual oil drain hole. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen this bolt. I'm going to put a little shield in here that's going to deflect the oil down into a small pan right here. The, the wrench for the oil plug drain is 1532, 1530 seconds, whatever you want to say, 1532. So as you can see, I've taken out the drain plug, added a little plastic deflector, the oil is draining out, it's pretty black, and into my pan. 
For the oil, I'm going to use the uh, 1030 Fully Synthetic Royal Purple, and its uh, quantity is 0.63 quarts, so just over half a quart. So now I'm going to take off this cover, and I'm just going to check out the electrical connections and see how they look. So as you can see, there's been some dirt inside, and if you look at the connections right there, they're really rusty. So I'm going to disconnect them one at a time only, and I'm going to just clean them up real quick. So as you can see, they're all nice and clean. What I did is I took one off at a time, cleaned all the terminals, put it back together, and then I went to the next one, to the next one, and to the next one. And then this guy just gets moved back over here, so it's not in the way. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off these terminals. I'm going to do the same thing, take off one at a time, clean them up and put them back on. So to remove the exhaust, all you need to do is remove these two bolts and also these two bolts right here and here and the whole thing will come straight off. So basically I've put everything back together, I've tightened all the bolts, give everything a little bit of a clean with some soap and water. I've attached the gas, turned the gas back on, and I'm about just to condition the sponge for the filter, and then I'm gonna give it a try, see if I can get it to start. So what I did with the sponge for the filter, I took it upstairs, and I gave it some soap and water in my sink, and I cleaned it really good. Then you need to add a little bit of oil. Let that soak in. Mush it up a bit. So I put the filter back in its canister. It's soaked a little bit with oil. Now I'm just gonna put the cover back on, take it outside, see if we can start this baby. Okay, time to test this baby out. Turn it on. Turn on the gas, and I'm going to prime it and then give it a pull. Okay, I'm going to open the choke, and here we go. That was first time, first pull. 